You are a busy adult and you can only practice for 15 minutes a day. Hi there, I'm Jaza, I play the piano and in this video I want to show you how to have a really deep practice session in just 15 minutes. I will share with you the phases you need to cover in this practice sessions and how many minutes you need to spend on each phase. If you practice in this way, you're going to achieve the same or perhaps even more than someone else who has practiced for a whole hour. Before we get into this deep practice strategy, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel to stay in touch with more of these free piano tutorials and lessons. Phase one is your warm up. So in this warm up phase, you want to be working on some exercises. Now I have a few exercises ideas for you today. The first one would be the 10 levels of hand coordination exercises. So I actually did a video on this. You can go and click on the card above if you want to check it out. But I gave people 10 levels of hand coordination exercises just to warm up your hands, okay? So just very quickly, I want to show you what they sound like. Repeat that. And you can move on to level two after that. So level four. Now I don't want to spend too much time on these exercises, but the point is you want to have some kind of exercise to get your fingers moving, get them warmed up before you play and work on your actual pieces. Now, a second exercise I have for you today is the Hannon. The Hannon is a collection of 60 exercises for piano but there are PDFs for the first 20 exercises on the internet by Mutopia Project. I wanna show you just a few quickly. Okay, so these are a little bit more hardcore than the exercises I had before, but they're really, really good for just getting your fingers moving, getting, getting them warmed up. and so forth. I won't go into too much depth with them, but you can see the point of these exercises. Just want to show you another quick one. I also really enjoy number six. So number six sounds something like this. so forth okay now I'm going a little fast today uh, in your actual practice you should be going at a speed that you're comfortable with so a speed that you can be mindful about and feel each and every single sensation of each finger playing so make sure not to go too fast not to go too slow but just at a speed where you can comfortably be really mindful about your playing now phase two is analyze the piece. I want you to spend about two minutes on this. And it's really important that before you actually get to work playing and practicing your piece, that you just have a look through and analyze it so that you know what's coming up. Now we're gonna use Fur Elise as an example. Everyone knows for at least. Now, some quick questions that I have for you for analyzing the piece is, are there any parts that are repeated? So let's have a look at what parts are repeated. I can see that this part is sort of a section A. Okay, it ends here. Okay, and then that part actually comes back again over here. I'm somewhere around there. Right, so and I want to make a mental note of that, just noting that that part is something that happens again, okay? And having a mental note of that uh, will inform the way I practice. So that might mean I don't need to work on that doubly as much. I might spend more of my time working on another more difficult part. Second question I have for you is, um, are there any notable patterns or sequences? So you wanna look for different patterns. So when I'm practicing, I'll probably try to make a mental note of, for example, things like that. Okay, these left hand bits, they're all fairly similar with each other, right? So. So just making a mental note of these kind of patterns that are happening, it'll help make your practice time much, much more efficient. Okay, and lastly, just another quick question is, are there any symbols? So things like the pianissimo or the pedal markings, just make a quick mental note before you attempt your piece. And now moving on to phase three. Phase three is your work phase. And you wanna spend about eight minutes on this phase. In the work phase, you wanna first play through this piece once, really, really mindfully.
so on and so forth. All right, so I wanna first play it through mindfully and make a quick mental note of if there are any parts that are challenging for me. Which brings me to a really important sub point of this work phase, and that is that you must be working on bits that are actually difficult. Isolate the tough and difficult parts and work at them in isolation. The reason we wanna work on difficult parts first and place such an emphasis on them is because they take the longest time to learn out of everything else, okay? So for example, just in this piece, right? Like, uh, you know, every student that I see play this, they, they always play something like that. Let's say they're playing the second time. so much yeah they, they do something like that where, where you know they play that introduction really really well and when it comes to this section B part ba -da -da -dee, da -da -da -dum, they slow down a lot because they clearly haven't spent enough time on that so my recommendation to you in this phase three of this work mode you want to spend extra time on the parts you know you can't do really really well so for example in this section B part what I recommend is doing it firstly really slowly, but try not to stop. All right, another method I have for you is to work on them separately. Maybe you do right hand first. Just get really, really comfortable at that. You even get to the point of perhaps memorizing it, right? Now, just as I'm playing this, this relates to something I was saying before about patterns. There's a bit of a pattern here. Dee da da dee da dee da da dee da da. There's a bit of a sequence there, right? So I'll probably make a mental note of that just to help me to process and learn the piece a little more. And then next will be left hand. just separate hands before I get to put them together. So remember to work on the difficult parts first. Lots of people don't like working on difficult parts because they like playing the parts they know because they can feel accomplished by playing those easier parts. But I just wanna challenge you, right? If you work on the difficult parts a little bit every day, eventually over time, over like a week or two, you will master it. And then you are able, when you're able to play the difficult part, for a performance or even if it's for yourself, you're gonna feel so happy with yourself. So just have a bit of patience, work on the difficult parts step by step, okay? Don't let a big difficult part scare you because what you can do is section it off, literally block off everything else and look at just that one bar or maybe even half of that bar and work on it step by step. You eventually will get it. Remember that today's pain is tomorrow's gain. And that concludes our 15 minutes practice routine. If you have any bonus time, let's say you go, oh, I actually have five, 10 minutes more to go. You can do some other things like sight reading or you can do improvising. So sight reading is really, really good because every time you do it, you become a stronger musician. If you think about how you got better at English or any other language, you got better at them by reading a lot, right? And it's very, very similar in music. You wanna get better at this language you want to understand it more, you want to understand it more deeply and have a better connection with this language, we simply should read more. And then improvising is also really good. Sometimes I like to just play some simple chords and see where it takes me. So for example, okay, something simple and you, maybe you can make melodies on the top. tutorials on either sight reading or improvising I actually have videos on them so just go and click on the cards above and there you go that concludes the 15 minutes practice strategy for this video let me know in the comments how you go with this if it works for you maybe it doesn't work for you let me know that too try this out and I'll catch you in the next video